TV superstar. They're science. They were science reality shows. But so I got a, I got one like two years ago. I got a free trip to Scotland, and we built a hovercraft on this island, which is awesome. <laughs> oh and then uh, like a, uh, two weeks ago, I got back from Australia. Who are you? That's right. <laughs> I don't know. Damn police hit. That's right. I'm the six million dollar Dan. That's right. <laughs> Who can't even open a bottle of wine? I go see Mike DJ all the time, uh, and uh, you know a large p part for me of, of making electronic music is like going to see good DJs. <laughs> I'm definitely one of those idiots who screams and jumps up and down when someone plays a track. Dan is like, my favorite so. dancer. <laughs> That's for sure. I make sure. I I guess the, probably the DJ knows it if I'm having a good time. <laughs> Subtlety is not one of my strong points. So he'll come up to the DJ booth and he'll be like. <laughs> In an hour, we can come up with something cool. Mike and Dan are sort of prodigies of techno music. Maybe we should bring that file down with us. You know, Mike comes from a highly musical background. He has some severe, fantastic oh, musical training. And I got a couple lines, which is on the Oberheim. And, you know, this is just one short thing. This is a program called um, BeatPad from Mini Music, and um, basically what this thing is is that it, uh, it sends mi just MIDI, it doesn't make any sounds, and I can send this to the synthesizers. I don't know if you want that as well, or like a kick drum or a snare or something along with it. I don't want the click. It's rhythmic enough, I think. Yeah. You want to, you want to, uh, you want to just hear it for a while, or you want to just rock right into um, it? If you can just put it put on the loop, I'll just maybe just rock to it for a while, and hopefully something good will be in that while. Uh, I'm a grad student, and uh, which is just a way to avoid the real world as long as possible. My real goal in life is to never have a nine to five two weeks of vacation year job. So, uh, I went to went to MIT undergrad, and I build robots. Um, I build robots for work, work on prosthetic legs, uh, artificial limbs. The six million dollar Dan comes from building replacement limbs. Do you take that and then do you process those drum sounds or do you stick, keep them organic? You know, occasionally you want like a really live sounding fill, but a lot of times in, in techno music you want it to be really just repetitive and mechanical. There's human dynamics that are different, difficult to program, right? So, because like Mike can do these really intricate fills with a lot of different uh, character to them that would be really hard to program. So, I mean, and you can program things that he can't play too. So, do you think going to MIT had anything to do with your interest in electronic music? Uh, definitely, definitely. But I think in general, the my main interest was that I just, I just kind of. Um, decided that I really liked dance music because I really liked to dance. I'll a little more of that. Gracias. Uh, wine to make techno too. Do you guys find that drinking enhances the uh, techno making process? Sometimes. It depends on what you're doing. I mean, you can definitely get totally wasted, make this track, and, and when you're making it, you're like, and you wake up in the morning, you listen to it, and you're like, oh, that's crap. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true.